Hello, Godspeed09, the practitioner here, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, and parapsych researcher. I did a little research, I uh, contacted a few of my fellow magicians to help me out with uh, this particular video here. This is the last of the videos of yours, which I have yet, yet to have had debunked. I finally got the secret. Um, basically, there's one of two ways that this could either happen. One of which, uh, you could have a line coming out from just underneath the cap, uh, wired inside the threads of the bottle, a piece of fishing line attached to the inside of the cap, and then as you move, you just pull the bottle slightly away from you and it starts to move the cap. The second possible option is wound around the cap on the outside, tied in, and then it's just pulling it away during the same concept. Um, Either way, uh, my initial idea of thread being wound up like a spool and slowly pulling the cap off uh, turned out to be accurate. Uh, I know that I uh, may have been a little off by suggesting magician's thread as it is a little weak. However, fishing line is equally invisible and it would do the job equally well. So what I want you to do is the next time you're doing that, uh, that bottle trick, I want you to wave your hand all the way around the bottle um, near the cap, which is moving, just to prove that there is nothing connected to it, okay? That includes fishing line. Okay, good. I think I've pretty well uh, debunked that last one. Uh, if you want to prove to me that you have telekinetic ability, um, please see all the other previous videos I've done in response to you. Um, replicate with Titan controls in place. Um, again, per all of this, uh, uh, like all the other controls I've suggested. And then I'll believe you have telekinesis. Until then, I remain yours truly, a skeptic.